die at you stupid atlases. They're so bulky. Make it stop. I need you guys to die faster. I always forget that Therianizing also gives you that boost depending on the enemy you use it on. These guys give me like an attack buff based on their defense stat, I think. Damage bonus from enemy defense. These guys have huge defense. That's actually like incredibly useful. I'm going to leave that last one over there to Rogue Kuro. Why is Rogue Kuro back in instead of Aizen? You know what? Aizen died really early on before, so that's fine, honestly. Except now Rogue Kuro was about to die, so I forced them to switch back out. Oh, I'm about to die. I didn't even realize. I got to pay more attention to my HP, apparently. Holy cow. We were doing fine for a while. Now, all of a sudden, our HP is just like everyone's HP is going down like crazy. I'm staying Therianized too long right now is part of the problem. These things get Thunder Blitz? What are these? No, this is armored. Oh, that little... That weird, like, two-handed blob thing was here a second ago. That must have given... Whatever it was must have given me Thunder Blitz. I think it's like a POTUS or something. Can't remember exactly, but it's something like that. I'm gonna get this last Atlas out of here so we don't have to worry about it lumbering around possibly hitting anyone anymore. There we go. Give me your soul. And by that, I mean let me theorize you. You all know what I mean. I've been saying that for the whole playthrough, even though it's incorrect, technically. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking the new water move. What was the other new one I got? I got the new earth one that I haven't been using much. Let me uh, see that again really quick. What's that do? Oh, yeah, it's like Jet Blizzard. It pulls them into you, and then you pick them as it does it. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Consume you, and then kill you. Please die faster than this. Stop guarding so much. There we go. This might be it right here, this Atlas. Which is going to go down fairly easily because we're all hitting it. There we go. I wish I had power like that. 8,000. Really good. Did someone master something there? No. Okay. We're good then. Keep going. Keep on trucking. Three souls. Kind of worth the detour, I guess. I am going to curve all the way around here to get that bronze chest because you never know what could be in there. Could be good. Do, 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 do. There are no enemies here. It's just a straight shoot. Really wish I had the freaking Geo board, man. It's got to be like up near Melchior, I guess, is where you unlock it at. They've kept it away from us for this entire area. Soul bottle was definitely worth running over here. A couple of cat souls along the way also like doubles the worthness of it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look at this freak in nature. What the heck is this thing? Who designs that? I wonder how high up we have to go to get to Melchior. Uh, a good bit, it looks like, because we still got a ways to go. Still no sign of the Geo board. I think we've done enough dangerous encounters. This thing might catch me. It did not. But yeah, I think we've done enough dangerous encounters. We've had, like, what, four or five of them? We're already like 25 minutes into the session. We've only gone through one area because of all the dangerous encounters. So I think we're going to call it. That was a lot of gold. I think we're going. Can I step on the lava? No. Figured there'd be an invisible wall, but it was worth a shot. Never know. Maybe there's some kind of like super secret that would have made little to no sense there. We're going to hold off on fighting so many enemies. Might fight one or two more. May just stay away from dangerous encounters, actually. Because I do want to get to the top of Mount Killerouse and... Uh, wrap up this section before I finish recording today. So we've got a little over half an hour to do that. So we need to kind of jump on it. You know what I mean? Start making progress that way instead of stopping every super often to what is with this? This lava looks more like a stone than law. It's like some kind of a lava tree. It's not even actually, I don't know what the deal with that thing is. Yeah, it looks really weird, but cool. I should probably go. I know that bronze chest is all the way down here. We saw it across the lava way. Should probably go for it, so I'm going to. Even though I just said we need to, you know, kind of focus and actually get to Melchior so that I don't end up coming back, still being in Mount Killeross next session. That'd be a little ridiculous. That'd be like three or four sessions in the same area that isn't the end of the game. The end of the game, that's acceptable, but... You stay in like you're taking like three hours for a single area, you're probably dilly dallying too much. Or just being really thorough. Or level grinding. Any of those things. I did use one of my drop bottles off screen, by the way. You saw I had two there. I think I had two before. It just gave me my second one. I used one. I told you I fought that dire foe. I used it on the dire foe to get more gold. And uh, it worked well. It got me a lot of extra. Let's go to Rat Pig and Tomato Stew. Cool. 
Let's go back to the Crinian Archipelago, see if we can get that special. Because it would be very nice to grab that. Definitely want to get a hold of it, and then we'll only have the Cheagle area and any other areas after that. I think we're already high-leveled enough to unlock the next area. Let me actually look at that really fast. Can I look at that while the expedition is going? Area info? Yeah. This is the level 16 area. We are level 18, so we can unlock two more areas right now. So we've actually got like 10 area, nine, nine or 10. I'd have to like actually count out the math to make sure I was saying it correctly. We've got like nine or 10 more areas that haven't even been unlocked. I'm not sure what Melchior is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human. And so are those who they want to save. But sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Because his belief in the exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Uh, wait, does that mean you? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the exorcists. Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. If Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him. I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch, and I cast a deeper darkness. Okay, then. It's kind of what I figured Melchior was like the kind of pulling the puppet strings behind Artorius, potentially, or just the guy who like did everything, all of the, like the sort of odd jobs, but you know, the odd jobs that are super mega important and have to be dealt with by someone who's really skilled. Ah. I can see the peak just ahead. If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. Yeah, I was about to say, like, hey, this looks like we're about at the peak. This is, I would never walk on that. That is terrifying. It's even slightly angled, like it's going to make you slide off. Glad I noticed all these chests down here. Well, I didn't really notice the chests. I noticed that there was a pathway to walk down. And then I saw the chest after I started walking down it. You know what, I'm gonna grab this random item right here. I usually ignore these just because I got tired of picking them all up. But all right, let's get a move on. It's time to go take out Melchior once and for all. With this, all of the Legus will be defeated, the Empyreans awakened, the Domain stopped, and all that will be left is to take out Enominat and Artorius themselves. Defeat the both of them, and then we're done, I think. But you never know with Tales games, so we'll see. Finally, the Geoboard thing is on the screen at long last, but we have a skit to go through first. Is victory for us really possible? We're facing the Legate, Lord Melchior. I'd give us around four to one against. Four to one? Are our chances that slim? Almost every trick I or any current exorcist knows can be traced back to him. If I throw out three arts at once, he'll pull six out of his hat. He knows our capabilities and he's got far more power. Four to one might be generous. I suppose you're right. However, we have Velvet, the boy, and Rokuro. Who knows what value they'll add when they run amok? It's impossible to calculate, but if luck goes our way, our chances will rise considerably. Right. We are challenging the hardest possible foe. But I'm only talking about a straight-up fight. Knowing Melky or he'll have some nasty tricks. No matter how you analyze it, the outlook is grim. Bison, you too? What's wrong with a level-headed look at things? Careful consideration could give us the tool we need to turn the odds in our favor. After all, Magilu, forewarned is forearmed, right? Yes, that's true. 
Even still, we won't find a weakness in him. Let's take another hard look. What we need might be lying right at our feet. At our feet, eh? I'll keep my eyes on the ground as we walk then. All right. I mean, we fought Melchior before, and he had a stupid igniter mole. This is not a mole. Who named this? I demand to talk to the developers. This is incorrect, horribly. But whatever, these things will die fast. Finally, we're going to get the Geo board at long last. Thank goodness. There's something else I was going to say, but once again, I've forgotten it. Because I had to, I thought of it at like the start of the skit, and then I had to wait for the skit to end, and by the time the skit ended, I was listening to the skit, so I forgot whatever I was thinking about during the skit. Which happens a little too often in Tales of games, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I do like that nothing last water move. It's pretty cool. Fists. Yeah, nothing, man. Nothing stops them fists. Alright. We have two directions to go, but one of them looks cut off. I don't know if I need to geoboard to that location or what. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. 25% like, is definitely not good odds by any like realm of imagination. Like, you're... You got a 1 in 4 chance of winning, but 1 in 4, I mean, that's, like, way better than, like, the strict, you know, this is obvious. Like, it's way better than 10%, way better than, I need the Geo board for that. We're going to come back for that then, because I think that's the way we do not need to go. It's, uh, it's, it's not horrible odds. It's definitely not odds I would take with the chance of dying in combat, that's for sure. If someone told me, like, yeah, you fight this guy, you've got, like, a... 25% chance of winning, 75% chance you die, I wouldn't take that. But if someone was telling me, like, yo, you bet, like, $50, bet, like, $50, got a 25% chance you get $100 back, I'd be like, hey, you know what, I got, like, 50 bucks to spare, I'll take those odds. I can afford to lose $50, and, hey, I lose $50, that sucks, but I might get $100, and 25%, if someone gave me the same offer, like, yo, give me 50 bucks, you got a 1% chance of getting $100, I'd be like, you're crazy. That's completely worthless. That's not going to do anything for me. There's no way I'm getting that 1% chance. 25% is just good enough to be, like, 20% even. 20% is worth trying. You get lower than that, and then you're just like, yeah, it's, like, basically impossible. Statistically, it's not impossible, but in my mind, it's impossible. That may just be me. I don't think this is the right way to go, but it might be, because this area is actually larger than I anticipated it to be. So I guess we'll find out. I'm just really glad we finally have the geo board again. It's really handy. Are you going to catch me? No, I'm faster than you by a mile. Very good. I, those stupid mole things teleport. What property does that thing look like it has that allows it to teleport? Okay. I honestly, I had, I saw it happen. And I was like, I have enough time to dodge this. But at the same time, my instinct was to turn around. And I saw the bats behind me. It was like, well, I can't turn around. I guess I just have to go forward. Going left or right is obviously out of the question. It just cannot be done. I don't know why my mind thought that, but it did. Ow. Nope, you're not stepping on me. Well, I mean, you're going to step on me, but it's not going to do damage because I can theory eyes. I just got so many souls there. Holy cow. Die, you stupid mole freak. Come on. There you go. I had no problems here. Secret agent doll. Sure. Give me that. All right. Forget about picking up all of these uh, cat souls. I'm not going to worry that much about them. We're already back up to 171. We get cat souls pretty quick when we want to. Do, 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 do. All right, this area does dead end. It looks like there's supposed to be some kind of a quest here or something, maybe, in this bottom area. You'd think there'd be a Code Red Demon, but there isn't. Uh, that path would lead me back up. So I want to take the downward one, that middle area. We're doing really good on getting souls back, which is good because, you know, having cat souls is nice. I never use the items Cat Souls give me, but whatever. Yeah, it looks like there's supposed to be some kind of a boss down here or something, but there isn't. There's just a chest. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Plenty of Cat Souls as well, which is nice. Gimme. Soul Bottle? Honestly, Soul Bottles are really useful. I'm gonna be happy however many I have. I'm gonna be happy I have them, like, during maybe during the Melchior fight. Probably against some nasty Code Red Demons. I'm thinking the end of the game, like, against Artorias and whatnot, they'd be really helpful. Uh, possibly some post-game bosses, depending on their difficulty. But alright, I know I haven't picked up, like, every single cat soul, but since when do I ever make sure to pick up every cat soul? The only time I really go out of my way to make sure I pick up cat souls is when there's, like, three or more of them in a bundle, so I can just grab them all at once. 
This was the wrong way to go. I thought so. Awesome. Which means now we can go the correct way, which is down, right? I think it's down, not up. Or not really down and up, but, you know, north on the map, I think we're supposed to be going south. What's here on the side here, up ahead? There are no more chests in the area. Oh, that's where I picked up the geoboard. Whoa, something in my throat. Uh, that's where I picked up the geoboard. And there's a save point right here, which means we're probably at Melchior. You know what? Let's have one more dangerous encounter with the double golem here before we uh, fight Melchior. Let's do it. Are we ready for this? Oh, we're ready. Don't worry. That was horribly timed on my part. I did not mean to press R2. My finger twitched on the R2 button. But uh, I got a soul back immediately, so it worked out okay. Give me a fourth soul, please. They're not giving it to me. Whatever. There we go. This will work well enough. What? I think eight of these spawn. That's how much spawned last time we had a double lava atlas uh, dangerous encounter, at least. So I assume it's going to be similar to that number. That works for me. I'm up to four souls. Sick. Hello there. Go ahead and hit me. I'm theorized. I don't care. Can't die while theorized, which is honestly probably my favorite thing about theorization because it just lets you go crazy with attacking for a minute because you don't have to worry about death. Die, you stupid Atlas. There we go. I think Eisen killed it just before I could start hitting it. Is this last one? Already down to the last one. That didn't take long at all. Die, you stupid lava monster. There you go. If you want to live, get out of my way. Yeah, man. And stay out of it. You know what, Bat? Bring it. No, you know what? I want another dangerous encounter. That didn't take long at all, actually. So definitely just give me a, another of the same. It gives like 6k experience. I'll take it. Beautiful. I don't think we, have a chance. we just won this. E we were just in this exact same scenario and we won no problem. What do you mean you don't think we have a chance? As usual, I'm going to be... Aizen died... Uh, Aizen, dude. Okay, we got to have a chat, man. Like, what's the deal with you dying early combat here? Uh, it's not going to fly. Thank you for the soul, though. I appreciate that. That messes up our... our uh, we had that 1.1 times grade thing, man. You ruined it. We could have made good use of that if you hadn't died. Should not have immediately theorized. Should have, like, killed something first. Or, I mean, hit stuff with uh, attacks and then theorized at the end of the combo. But whatever. This works fine. Zero impact. I'm up to four souls, which is sick. Try and kill some stuff before. Okay, yeah, I saw him swinging his fist. It was like, wait, Therionized, but I couldn't react fast enough. Nor would it let me do it there either because I was in the middle of the combo. You know what? Let's do that. I'll get a stun probably, so we'll be okay. I did not get a stun, and that upsets me, but you know what? I'll get one like this with the good old slicing foot. Come on, come on. Give me a soul, man. You know what? I tried to move there, but the game wouldn't let me. I tried to do the dodge thing. Come on. Dang it. Finally, I got a soul. Awesome. Okay, now we start using Tyrannization like crazy again. I think this is the last enemy anyway, so he should die by the time I get down to two souls anyway. Yeah, like, this is no problem. See you later, sucker. Easy. He's fine. You know what, Bat? You've been chasing me all around. I'll kill you too. Let's go. I don't know. But I didn't want to fight another Lava Atlas here, but whatever. Dang it. I pressed R2, but I was in the middle of Shell Splitter, so it didn't let me use it. Should not have consumed there. I will be the first to admit. I was really hoping I could get a uh, get a soul there or a stun, I mean, but unfortunately didn't. You know what? Let me, yeah, focus on this thing. Ow. Oh, the stupid lizard is right behind us. Ow. Thank you for that health as I was getting hit. I think it might have stopped me from dying. What are you doing? Nope, none of that. Give me a soul. Give me. Give me. Time that poorly, like beyond poorly even. Give me, finally, thank you. I think I got it on the lizard there. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, just needed a second to get my mojo going, and now that I got it going, we're good to go. Now I can just tear him a new one like it's nobody's business. There we go. There we go. Stupid bat is still alive, really? Come on, bat. I did not mean to Therianize there. It seems like a lot of enemies for a uh, for a not dangerous encounter. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I do like that water attack. I know I've said it like four times. And it probably sounds like I'm just trying to convince you guys that I like it. But I really do. 
Look at that. That's so cool, man. Just shoot a little explosion in the air of, like, ice, and it blows up. I love it. I think that's ice and water, actually, which is even cooler. Would you please die, you stupid lizard? Yeah, Scale Crusher. That, that's nice. And then what was my Earth one again? I've forgotten already. It's the, uh... Yeah, that. It's like Jet Blizzard, only cooler. Did I, did I get a dangerous encounter somehow? I feel like I've killed, like, five bats already, but there's still more to be killed. This is the last... Yeah, that's the last one. Yeah, that was tougher than I would have loved. Yeah, I agree. I don't know why that was so difficult. But all right. It's time to go put Melchior out of business. Let's do this. Grab these cat souls, because I can. All right, guys. It's time. Let's do this. What am I saving over? I'm saving over this one. Time to awaken the Empyreans. Finally kill the last of the Legates. Artorius is the shepherd. He doesn't count as a Legate, I'm pretty sure. The Legates are Os Oscar, Teresa, Shigure, and Melchior. It's time for the fourth one to fall. Here we go, boys. The time is nigh. 